what up, SM Hit Squad, and welcome back, guys. Here's your boy Sean. And your girl. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome, SM Squad. Hell yeah. How are you guys doing today? We hope you guys are absolutely amazing. Yes, guys. Hey, if you're having a rough day out there, let's turn it around right now with some good energy and some good content. All right, guys? All right. So, my lovely wife, who we have today, babe? Who we okay, got? you guys sent this to us last night. This is Alabama dock worker attacked in riverboat brawl. Whoa, Nelly. Uh oh. Wow. That is crazy. Ah. Uh, all right, guys. You sent it over, so it must be, you know, something worth watching, right? Most definitely. So, guys, before we get into it, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on your post notification bell so you guys be notified. Once you do that, you can throw away the key, guys. We appreciate it. All right, lock it, lock it, lock it, baby. Good energy, good Let's content. Go. Let's, go. Let's see what we got. Tonight, we're learning more about a boat dock brawl in Alabama. Video shows a dock worker being attacked by a group before bystanders eventually jump in. As Ryan Young reports now, Alabama officials are publicly reacting as the search continues for the people involved. An altercation on a Montgomery, Alabama boat dock over the weekend between a group of white boaters and a black employee escalated into a massive brawl that resulted in multiple arrests. Montgomery Mayor Stephen Reed is calling for justice to be served for attacking a man who was doing his job. It's an unfortunate incident and um, it's something that we're investigating right now. We'll continue to go through that process uh, before we take any additional steps. It all began when the black employee was trying to clear the dock space where the Riverside cruise, the Harriet II normally docks. The cruiser was about to return to shore and needed its space to dock. You know, just doing his job. And for some reason, they didn't like it. They didn't want to move the boat. And he decided to get physical with him. You can see in the video the black employee on the dock arguing with one of the men from the pontoon boat and then another shirtless white man charging at the employee and hitting him in the face. Soon after that, you can see several others join in on the attack of the dock employee. In some of the video, which has gone viral, with millions of views, people on the boat can be heard yelling for someone to go help the employee. Then at one point, you can see a young man who has jumped off the boat swimming ashore to help the man who was being attacked. The boat got closer, wow. the guys and the crew members and everybody caught off. And wow, he that's when it happened. That's that the reason why when they got there. off the boat, they came right to that smaller boat. And that's when more fighting ensues, turning into an all out brawl that included several people getting hit over the head with a folding chair. Soon oh. after, officers started trying to take control, handcuffing people in the fight. You know, they were the antagonists of the whole situation arrest them because unfortunately when things happen, people of color are the first to put, be put in handcuffs. Many questions remain about the melee that appear to be very much split across racial lines. We are fully engaged and we are doing all of our due diligence to find out exactly what took place. That was Ryan Young reporting. Officials say there are four active warrants out at this time. More could follow as police oh continue to review Lord. additional video. Oh my goodness. I really want to take that back just a notch because um This is crazy. The doc arguing with one of the men You know, when when someone is trying to do their job, that's what they get paid to do. Most they have definitely. to do their job. Unfortunately, no some people don't want to, you know, follow the rules. So And unfortunately they I, I think the media is making it to a black and white thing of I think oh, that's how you get the money. You get you know, paid. And, oh, a white man attacks a black man, and, yeah, and so they they always turn it into a racial thing. But right, um, it just looked like soul. somebody who just doesn't want to follow the rules to me. It looked like and someone wanted to start. Confusion. Probably was a little intoxicated. Looks like you know they probably had a couple couple of drinks and they jumped to conclusions. Um, and there, this worker, see, he was well within his rights to yeah. defend himself. I mean, so he I'm, had to. I hope that he doesn't have a warrant or but anything. It, he it, was just doing his job at the end of the day. It's definitely wrong for a group of people to beat the crap out of one guy. This guy's on the ground. Now, we no, I mean, he definitely, the yeah. one with the little... Now, let's see this guy charging The visor hat. Then from the pontoon one. boat. And then the another shirtless white man charging at the employee right and hitting him in the face. That's where we go wrong at. 
hitting this man in the darn face. Because they're basically trying I wonder trying if to, these two guys were together. They had to be. You know, this guy just come out come out the blue like Goodness a like a gracious. punch and a kick at the same time. Like a and ninja. Now this guy gotta defend himself. Oh, he's, poor, poor he's guy, poor no, worker, no, no man. Choice, but you defend yourself. Oh, it's so hard when now, you're trying to do your job and someone makes your let's job. Let's just take wrong. it back a notch because this guy just come in with a, you know. And then another shirtless <laughs> white man charging at the employee and hitting him in the face. Okay, Soon punch. after that, you can see several others join in on the attack of the dock employee. Oh, my. And some of the video, which has gone viral. With millions of views, people on the boat can be heard Come yelling on, for man. someone to go help to the employee. Today, then at one point, you can see a young that. man who has jumped Look off the boat swimming. swimming ashore to help the man well, who was being God. attacked. The boat got closer, the guys and the crew members and everybody caught off, and that's when it happened. That's the reason why when they got off the boat, they came right to that smaller boat. And that's when more fighting ensues, turning into an all-out brawl that woman. included oh several people goodness. getting hit over the head with a folding chair. Soon after, officers started trying to take control, handcuffing people in the fight. You know, they were the antagonists of the whole situation. Arrest them, because unfortunately, oh, when things happen, people of color that's are the all. first to put, be put in handcuffs. Many questions remain about the melee that appear to be very much split across racial lines. We are fully engaged and we are doing all of our due diligence to find out exactly what took place. That was Ryan Young. Wow, guys, that escalated right quickly. Wow, and, and this just happened? It just happened. And wow, you guys sent us this one pretty quick. It seemed like the two guys was talking and until that guy came in with the double punch, that's when things escalated right there. Because at the end of the day, you got to keep your hands to yourself. Oh my God. It's a right and it's a wrong. I mean, he gave the guy a ninja kick. Like, was that even called for? And then everybody jumped on this guy like that. Like, come on now. That was now, way uncalled, way too much. This guy is in a security uniform. Doing He's his there job. to protect and, you know, to serve and to keep the peace. Most definitely. So and it's a right and it's a wrong, guys. Just, we clearly see what You happened. know, even if they were intoxicated, there is no excuse. There's no room for that for committing a crime. That's a crime. So You can't assault a person and get away with that. Come on now. And I agree with the guy swimming. Like, that was he like... Help because he was his, a hero, right? Yeah, that's his, um, you know, it's, it's his co-worker. They work together. They oh, my goodness. The he jumped jump. right in that water and swam right over there. That's how I want to be protected. <laughs> like, you know <laughs> Back me on up, even if you wow, had to jump man. in the water to do it. That really got out of hand. That's crazy. You know, and what they was trying to do, protect, you know, their job. Protect Most their, definitely. Their dock. And that's the same Full thing. Full warrant. Um, and that song. Guys, come on now. Is it worth the warrant? Is it worth going to jail? It's not worth going to jail. Goodness gracious. You know, what people were, handcuffed. Were they the drinking ground. moonshine? What was going um, on? You had women being hit with chairs and stuff like that. It's that's way out of hand. So this is why I saw those chairs memes. They, yeah, I the saw so many memes with chairs, and I'm like, what is going on? Why why are people creating all these memes? I I saw that yesterday on Facebook. Wow. But oh my goodness. I think that that could have been handled a totally different, safe way. Where you know what, if the if the guys ask you to move your boat or to you know do whatever, just follow the rules. That's the rules. You know, rules are made to be followed, not to protect. To you know, they you put the rules, rules in place to protect the people. Absolutely. That who are in the boats, the docks. They're for your own safety, guys. Follow the rules. You and don't want to drown or cause any harm to anyone else a civilian and another thing is you would think that kids would act like this this is grown adults a grown adult. by the water which is as dangerous to fight and all this chaos on the on the dock the two guys were just talking why did you have to come and give them a like you were chuck norris a ninja kid yeah like what, what, what i is? mean <laughs> ninjas? Wait, wait, hold on god calm down man relax it's going to be okay. Gracious, that was a straight up ninja kick. Hey, it can't be that bad to actually move, gracious, move your boat. Chuck Norris. To, you know, go park your boat, dock it somewhere else. Whatever, whatever the case may be. Follow the rules. 
and let's just keep it moving and everybody be cordial and act like, you know, grown adults. I mean, at the end of the day, that would have scared the crap out of me, you know, like to be water. honest. <laughs> I know you. Like, <laughs> you guys are fighting near the water. Somebody could get put water. in there and drown. Yes. It's, oh, it's my goodness. Terrible, man. Come on, guys. We got to do better. Um, I'm praying for that whole town. Um, the thing I'm get scared better. of those boats. You know, yeah, it's like I'm, you won't see me causing any trouble or any drama near any boat. Okay, <laughs> I am not a mermaid. I wish I was, but I am not. You guys, that is a dangerous you situation guys are to just be losing in. it out here. Um, we just gonna pray, you know, for those guys to get everything under control. I mean, could, you can't even go to the boat and and catch and fish and have a party and enjoy yourself without a brawl. Like this is a straight up brawl. And I'm glad no no guns was drawn or you Most know definitely. somebody that done went and got a gun and you know and turned ugly. Now someone is 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 gone Most away definitely. from him. You know what I'm saying? So Most definitely. Um a little brawl. At least okay. if you fight it out, you can live yeah. to see another day. Like you know, don't, don't try to kill anybody. We're still humans, you know. We're still, humans, yeah. you know? We're still all serious. humans and we all deserve to live. So. Absolutely. All right, so wow. Um Thank you guys for sending this over to us. We like to, you know, cover things like this because we like to voice our opinion. That was crazy, you know? y'all. <laughs> that was crazy. That was off the chain. That was like an after school fight. Yeah, like like children. Like what you know in what I'm the saying? world. And then it, it, it seemed like it was a group of black people against a group of white people. It seems that way. It, it, it seems it that way. Seems that well, way, you know what? I try not to get into the white and black thing. Yeah, because I try as much as I can. I do thing. understand that there are racist people out here. I understand that 100%. Yes. But I know that every incident is not it's about not race. It's all about race. So it's that's why I try people. not to get into the black and white thing. Because I've seen the white guy punch the other white guy. Most you definitely trying so to protect the black, and white 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 guy. Thing. It's a These people work Ignorant, here, and, disrespectful. You know, these people are being disrespectful <laughs> and not following the rules. Point blank. Most right? definitely. That's the way it calls a spade a spade. Guys, thank you for watching. We signed off on that note. Hey, it's your boy Sean. Hey, your girl. Yes, yes, yes. Bam. All right, guys. Have an amazing day on purpose and stop yes. rolling. Stop good the energy. rolls. Good content, guys. <laughs> All day, every day. We're about to Peace.